President Moon Jae-in went ahead with a major cabinet reshuffle today. New chiefs for defense as well as trade and labor are named. He also replaced some of the vice minister positions as well. Cha sang zooms in on the changes made to better realize the government's policy initiatives. President Moon on Thursday nominated replacements for five of his cabinet ministers, namely those for defense, trade, labor, education and gender equality, in the administration's first reshuffle since the president took office last year. Two key phrases to describe the cabinet reshuffle, one is turning over a new leaf and the other is filling. By that I mean turning over a new leaf as the administration gets a fresh start with the second cabinet and filling as in trying to help the people build the reforms achieved by the first cabinet. The president named General Chung kyung the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, to replace the embattled Defense Minister Song young woo who's stuck in a difficult situation over the mishandling of controversial information regarding the Defense Intelligence Unit. If appointed, he would become the first Air Force general to head the Defense Ministry in over two decades. And he would be the second Defense Minister in a row not to have come from the Army. Tasked with handling the jobs crisis, Yi jae has been nominated for Labor Minister. He served previously as vice minister for labor in 2012. For trade minister, the president tapped Song Yun-mo, the head of the Korea Intellectual Property Office. He also named ruling party lawmaker Yoo Eun-hye for minister of education. The current minister had been slammed for causing confusion in the process of revising the country's college entrance procedures. And another ruling party lawmaker for the post of gender equality minister, Jin seon mi all the president's cabinet picks will have to undergo parliamentary confirmation hearings, although their appointments do not require parliamentary approval. The top office also tapped former presidential inspector and lawyer Yi seok su to head the National Intelligence Service's Planning and Coordination Office. The Blue House has also named three other ministerial posts as subject to the reshuffle, hinting that Part 2 will be announced in a week or two. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.